Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is in chickens congenital baldness is a link recessive trait, a bald rooster is made with normal hen, the F1 from this cross are interbred to produce the F2, gives the genotypes and phenotypes and proportions among the F1 and F2 progeny. Unlike in humans where sex determined as follows, so he is a sign for female and male. And as you know, females has two X chromosomes and males has X and Y chromosomes. In birds, males are homozygous for the sex chromosome, which is Z, and females are heterozygous, have Z and W chromosomes. Let's specify defective Z chromosome with different color, for example, with red color. So according to our problem, the rooster has following genotype 2 defective Z chromosomes and hen has normal phenotype and that means genotype and she has Z and W normal chromosomes. Let's build a Punnett square and take a look what's going to happen with the progeny with the genotypes and phenotypes in F1 generation. So defective Z chromosome from the male and normal Z chromosome from female. Defective Z chromosome here, here and here and normal Z chromosome from the female and W here and here. As you see, 100% of the roosters would have normal phenotype because they would have normal Z chromosome with a normal allele, which is dominant and these two chromosomes have recessive allele, so they would have normal phenotype. And as for the hands, 100% of the hands would have this uh, genetic disorder, which is baldness. So let's also add hands here and roosters here. And this is what we are going to see in F1 generation. Now let's take a rooster from F1 generation. So it's going to have one defective Z chromosome and one normal Z chromosome. And as for the hen, each hen would have the same genotype, which is going to be defective Z chromosome and normal W chromosome. Again, we just built simple Punnett square and let's take a look what's going to happen in F2 generation. So this is going to be F2 generation. Defective Z chromosome from the hen side and defective Z chromosome from the rooster side. Defective Z chromosome from the rooster side and normal W chromosome from the hen side. And defective Z chromosome from the hen side and normal Z chromosome from the rooster side. And normal Z chromosome from the rooster side and normal W chromosome from the hen side. Now let's find the ratio in F2 generation. So male side, female side, or we can say rooster side and hen side. And as you see, 50% of the roosters are going to have boldness. So 50% would be bold. But also 50% of the roosters are going to be phenotypically normal. And as for the hands, 50% of the hands are going to be bold, but 50% are going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. We also can say that ratio is going to be one to one and one to one here. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.